What's up guys? Welcome Heroes vs. Villains Volume 4 More Uncharted. We do a little bit on Libertalia, little pirate colony, little sunken ruins. Got Eddie Raja again. And he's on sunken ruins sporting an arrowhead. And I'm starting to think the sniper is a little dangerous, but I'm gonna try to throw some fire like in that general direction. Kinda throw him off. Kinda throw him off. Um, I don't have any particular topic today outside of, I've just kind of been thinking about a statement someone had made a while back, and I've like been chewing on it, and it's like they wanted to live a life of no regrets, like a life of no regrets, and now I'm approaching my birthday, I will be old as fucking dirt, and I will not be saying my name, damn that sniper is still set up back there, I'm gonna try to move in and get a slightly different vantage point. And boom, and she expected me. Boom, one shot at me. Boom, one shot at me. I, I know I've gotta get out of harm's way. That I know now that that sniper is dangerous and it is gonna affect my approach like the whole rest of this game. Um, she's already downed a bunch of our teammates. Um, they got multiple snipers up there. So this is a team that we're going to have to be like super cautious with not to run around corners. Got the weird angle there. And I think he's just going to go in and by the time I'm able to do some damage just to some people, yes. I realize my team is down. I'm alone. So I've got to back out of there and not fast enough. And the fucking sniper gets me again. Damn. Not a good start for the Eddie. Not a good start for the Eddie at all. So we'll see how uh, our boy Nathan Drake fares here on Pirate Colony. I'm actually somewhat of a fan of Pirate Colony. I like the verticality. I like the map. It's like one of the smaller maps. Sunken Ruins is a smaller map too. I actually like both of these maps a lot. Um, and they're both like somewhat challenging and stuff. So. Got more snipers. This one I'm actually able to take out a little bit of distance, even with the MP34. I was quite happy with those Little shots right there. So it's approaching my birthday. Yes, I'm a Leo. Fucking Leos rock. Leos are fucking awesome. Um, as any Leo would say, because we're Leo. <laughs> but um, so, and I. That's this statement comes to come to mind. Oh, and I'm fucking flanked. Jump. Get away. Oh my god. I can't believe I got away from this. I'm gonna dive down and swim. Do a little snorkeling. Figure out where I can come back up. Get a little closer to my team. Get my health back. Man, that was a fucking escape. That was fucking awesome. Fucking awesome mistake. Not mistake. Escape. It was also a mistake. The fact that I didn't know dude was back there. But hello! <laughs> yes, he did not find me. Um, so, when birthdays come around and you get old like me, uh, you start to think, you know, a lot about... You, you reflect a bit on your life and kind of like where you are in life and have you made... Uh, the right choices, the wrong choices, what could you have done better and whatnot. And it, this thought, that, that, that wish this person had basically to, to, ooh, get the grenade out in time, and I, I am hurt, so I've got to go, I'm going to go for cover. I'm not going to press up in there, because I know there's more, and I'm, I'm just going to wait, I'm going to wait for him to come to me. And so you think that, that question, live a life with no regret. Oh, he got my guy, but I've got two of you. Good night, sweet prince. Double down. Am I going to get the triple? Yes. <laughs> and then I got down. We'll have to see what happens. All right, Eddie Raja, trailing 10-2. to two. This is looking quite hopeless for the villains already. Sneak behind the waterfall. Grab the treasure. See what we can do. See if I can pop up in there. See my guys down, thinking maybe I can help him, and nope, here's this guy, and Arrowhead's not the best for blind fire, but he did just fine right there, and try for the revive, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm not gonna pull this off twice, kind of brick the grenade, 
Got my teammate gets him down. That's nice. And this is what we need to do, guys. We need to stick together and press. So, I thought a lot about that statement. And one of the things about that statement is... This is it. I, I feel like everybody... Most people on this planet have regrets. Ooh, nice blind side. Double down. We needed that. Oh, and I'm getting hurt bad. Can I get out of it? And yes, I do. But I remembered mine was there. I'm going to take it out. My teammates come in and take the pressure off of me. Pulling a little comeback here, people. And so, I think most people have regrets. And I think that there's only two types of people who don't have regrets. Um, one, you're too stupid to play cause-effect out and figure out... <laughs> I'm going to play a little hide-in-the-seek ring around the rosy. Am I going to find you? Oh, no! But it, it didn't get him. You didn't get me. Did they go up the stairs? <laughs> no! No, they're behind me. Oh shit, quick grenade. Fuck out of there, can I swing back for a rope kill? No, but he, oh, he keeps going. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Um, I think you're either too stupid. Oh my gosh, can we hit a shot? Oh my god, we both have to reload. <laughs> um, so you're either too stupid to play cause and effect out. And look at a series of instance, instances and be like, well, if I'd done this, then this would happen. I had done this, this would happen, which would have caused this to happen, which would have caused this to happen. Now, admittedly, there are not bright people in the world. And I imagine that there's perhaps some of those people who really, who really can't think, like, logically cause-effect relationships. But I feel like if you're somewhat intelligent... Um, you are going to be able to play the cause-effect game. And, oh, you guys are finally got it. Now, this guy, he comes to me, and he doesn't down me. He leaves me. Heroes trailing 8-7 to seven here on Pirate Colony. Here, a guy comes in to save me, and that ended up not being a death at all. Finish your people off, guys. Finish your people off. You... And, and he wasn't, like, setting up a trap. Like, I thought, oh my god, that guy's gonna set up a trap. But he he wasn't. He just left me there. Um, and that was a mistake. Even if I do go down, again, really quickly. You know, but... Still, come on. Down for some payback. Thank you for the pickup. The grenade. And the KO. Allow my guy to hopefully get the down. He's hurt. He's so hurt. Let's finish him off. So yeah, I feel like I feel like if you are um, an intelligent person, um, you're gonna play the cause effect game with your decisions. And sometimes you will think, hey, maybe this would have been better if I had done this. I think that's really natural. I think I don't even think you have to be super intelligent, right? Um, and I think a lot of people do do that. I think the other type of people who who supposedly live life with no regret are very, very arrogant people. People, I mean, you have to be super arrogant to feel like everything that you do is perfect, right? Um, that you make no mistakes, that everything you do is exactly how it should have been. Um, now, perhaps there's like some other type of person in there. Here, villains trailing 17-3, but still not nearly as bad. We definitely pushing in, pushing in, making the comeback here. Definitely starting to make the comeback. We're staying together closer as a team. We've managed to find confrontations that um, basically limits that sniper, um, so they're not so dangerous, right? You know, we don't want to be in these situations like here. You know, and again, the sniper can kind of do its thing, and we force them out. Wrath of El Dorado forces them out. It's going to allow us to get open shots and take these snipers out of their... So they don't do what they did. And we're doing a really, really nice job with the comeback. Go, Eddie. Go, Eddie. Do the mine. 
take it out. So, <sighs> regrets. Regrets. I think it's human nature to have regrets. Um, I think as long as you are self-aware and realize that you're not, you know, perfect. And you can study cause-effect relationships. I think regret is perfectly normal. I, I have regrets. I have regrets in love, in career, all kinds of things. Um, I know that there are probably multiple people that I have been in love with that I could have potentially spent, married, spent the rest of my life with. Didn't play out that way. I married the woman I married. Ooh, villains catching Lee. 2320, we're gonna get both of these people up. We're gonna get him up. Oh, come on, hang in there, hang in there. Yes. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm very happy with who I did choose to marry and I have a very happy life and I don't I don't regret it but at the same time it's impossible not to think oh what if what if and with that what if comes some sense of perhaps regret regret that you're not going to get to try everything right you're not going to get to do do it all that you're somewhat limited here in what you can and cannot do um I have, I think I've been in love like five different times in my life. Um, some had long relationships with. Um, some I didn't ever see a full relationship bloom out of that, but I know that it was there. And at least one who was super close friends with that we just never basically, you know, cross that line so to speak you know we, we never we never we remain friends and we never cross that friendship zone um so yeah i mean there's part of me who doesn't go you know what if i had crossed that friendship zone you know what did i miss out on there you know what i'm saying and that's i think that's human nature i certainly have there's been choices i made in my career uh, i wish i had done things uh slightly differently in some respects but on the flip side, I'm in a pretty awesome place now. Like, I'm in, in a super awesome place. Boom! Well, that didn't go so well. Actually, it went quite well at first. Heroes here, Pirate Colony still trailing. 16, 14. Let's see what Drake can do. Go ahead and swing over there. Somebody's got the gear recharge. Thank you for that on the sidekick. Love that savior sidekick. So, you know, I'm I'm super happy. Man, Drake goes down quick. Villains here, firmly in the lead. 31, 26. It's hunter time. We pop the hunters. Let's see if we can finish this fucking game off. Second hunter. Bam. Boom. Double down, and then they pop theirs too. He's got me. But I'm gonna get away. I'm gonna get away. I'm gonna lay my grenade out and <laughs> oh, I did not see that coming at all. Oh my gosh, you talk about the total blind side. Here we have heroes. We're tied 16-16. Rocking my favorites. Obviously the MP34, Headmaster 2. Mark on damage three. Hunters, all my goodies. <laughs> Look at that. That is a, that was beautiful. Perfect timing on the hunter. Come down. And here we go. Let's run. Let's run the table, son. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I love my wife. I have beautiful kids. I've got a great family. Um... I'm quite happy with my choices, but that doesn't mean that as a grown intelligent adult, I don't wonder, right? I don't I don't wonder what those possibilities are. And this hunter's doing the work. Um, certainly in my career, sometimes I wonder what are the possibilities that what could have been, right? What what could have been 
um, if I had made some different career choices, if I had chosen to move uh, perhaps out of my state, if I had chosen um, perhaps to leave my first corporate job earlier. Um, you know, just a lot of, lot of things, man. Dude, punch me much? Seriously, bro. Thanks for the pickup. And heroes. I have tons of cash. We're moving well, well into the lead. This looks really good for the boys on Pirate Colony. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I think, uh, you know, I don't want to generalize. Perhaps there's somebody out there who doesn't have regrets, who doesn't fit in those two categories of either stupid or arrogant. Um, that I mentioned, right? You know, I, I mean, I hate to generalize about, I mean, because there probably is, you know, I mean, and sometimes people are just lucky or blessed and everything seems to go exactly the way that they wanted it. But I, I just find it hard to believe that, you know, if you are a um, pretty intelligent um, person and you can kind of think things through that you are going to have some level of um, what if, some level of regrets about what you could have done, you know? And I think that's human nature, right? I, I think that, I think that you're, if you live a life, I almost feel like with no regrets, perhaps you haven't lived life, right? Like perhaps you haven't taken like super huge chances. Graphica come into play. Perhaps you haven't taken a lot of chances with your life. Um, perhaps you haven't done a lot of like crazy things, you know. Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, got us both. Rafe. Villains trailing 38-36. And this is super, super fucking close. Have been down 10-2. Come back and be in the lead, 31-26. And now be down 39-36 here. Just seconds to go. So guys, it's only going to take one down when you rush out there. Oh my gosh, we lost. Villains, Libertalia, Sunken Ruins. They lose, take the loss. Heroes, 33-25. We're gonna finish this out. Destroy these boys. Um, so I think it's human nature, right? You know, to doubt, to have regrets. I think that's part of living. Um, it's part of taking chances. Sometimes the chances don't play out. Sometimes the chances do. Um, the only things I really have regrets about are the times I didn't take chances, right? Are the times that I I didn't try, you know? Times I did just the connection was there or something was I had opportunity was there and I didn't pursue it as well as I should have. You know? Oh my gosh, look at that fucking grenade. Holy shit, what a grenade. Nice job. Oh, nice revive pack. The double revive. Get my goodies going our way. So I, I just think it's it's human and um, a sign of life. What do you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed Volume Four: Heroes versus Villains. Heroes win. This is Lucky signing out. Happy birthday to me. Peace.